Hey y'all, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I got my nails like this. They look professionally done. It looks like I dropped a bag on them, but I didn't. It was quick and easy and I'm going to show y'all how I did it. Just continue watching to find out how. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut my nails down. I'm using my toenail clippers. I don't know what happened to my nail clippers. So I'm just going to use these to cut down my nails. I like to cut them down pretty short. These nails are coffin nails and they're already curved inwards. So I just don't want like my natural nail to be showing if you know what I'm saying. Because they're going to be curved inwards. Okay but anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and cut down all of my nails. Okay and that's how they look. Okay, and then after I cut my nails down, I'll go ahead and remove my dry skin and cuticles around my nails. As you can see, it looks a little bit crusty and dry, so I'm just going to use this Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I love this stuff. I've used it for several years. So all you do is you just put it around your cuticles and then you wait 15 seconds and then you'll be able to remove the dry skin. It just makes your skin like really soft and easy to remove so I usually let it sit more than 15 seconds I'll probably let it sit like a minute or so and then I'll start to remove it and push back my cuticles during this process I like to keep cotton rounds nearby like the little cotton pads and I'll just use those to wipe off any of the excess gel or the dead skin and like dry cuticle parts that I get off next I'm gonna go ahead and take my cuticle pusher this is the tool I use to push back my cuticles and I'll just go ahead and push my cuticle back on all of my nails. I feel like it looks like I'm doing it kind of rough, but I'm actually not. I'm doing it pretty gently, so I'm just going around all of my nails and taking my time to push back my cuticles. And that's basically just pushing my cuticles back and pushing back some of the dead skin that might, might be on my nail and just kind of lifting that up and getting that off of there. And then I'm just taking a clean cotton round and wiping off the cuticle pusher. And as you can see, that's some of the dead skin that I was able to get off. So then now next, while I still have the gel on my fingers, I'm going to take my cuticle remover tool and remove that dry, crusty skin, aka my cuticles. I'm just going to remove that gently with this tool. It doesn't hurt. Um, and it's just removing that dryness and it's going to make my nails look so much better. Okay, and once I finish removing the cuticles, then I'll just go ahead and take a cotton round and wipe off all of my nails. Okay, and this is how they look after I've trimmed them and removed the dead skin and cuticles. And as you can see, the difference, this hand I haven't done yet, and then the other hand that I, I have done, it makes a big difference. It makes your nails look cleaner and it makes you more put together. Okay, so on to the next step. I'm going to be using this file and I'm just going to go ahead and file the top of my nails a little bit to give it some texture. It's easier for the glue and the nail to stay on when you have a little bit of texture on your nails instead of them just being like nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to all of my nails. This is how they look once I'm all done and I'm just going to wipe off the excess powder just like on my towel. Alright, on to the fun part, the nails. So these are the Kiss Jewel Fantasy Press-On Nails and the length is long. I got these from my local Walmart. They were like $8, $7 or $8, so pretty inexpensive for how cute they look. And then the, these are some of the other ones that I've worn recently. I think these were about seven or eight dollars. And then another pair I got on clearance, it was like four dollars. And then this set was about five dollars. So I've just been into press ons lately. They're just so much cheaper than going to like an actual nail salon. And they look really, really nice. So this is what came in the pack. It's just a little file and then it has a little cuticle pusher in there and then the nails. And then there's also not just these, there's more inside. 
and then it also comes with the glue that you'll need for it as well. So there's basically everything you need in the package and it's only like seven or eight bucks. Well, besides the um, nail clippers, but I'm pretty sure everybody has nail clippers. Okay, so the next thing I do is just sit them all out neatly and then I'm gonna figure out how I want them on my nails. Okay, so as you can see, there are three different types of accent nails and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use each one of them on both of my hands or how I wanted to do it. So I just kind of play around with the different ways that I could put them on and then I'll just kind of like sit them on top of my nails before I actually glue them on just to kind of get an idea of how it would look on my hand with like the different combinations. And then this is the combination that I came up with. So I just laid them all out and then inside each nail has a number. As you can see, this has a number five. So once you find the size that you need on one hand you can find the other number five that you'll need on your other hand so it's easy you don't have to just like keep trying every single nail on every single finger there's always two of the same number per package so now I'm ready to apply the nails and then the glue has this easy twist off top so you just twist that off and then the glue is ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my thumb and the thumbnail is a little bit too wide so I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingernail file and I'm just gonna go ahead and file down the sides to make it fit more comfortably on my thumb. Okay and then once I like how it fits I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my nail. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and apply that to my thumb, to my fingernail and then I'm also gonna apply some on the back of the nail as well. And then I'm gonna push down pretty hard. I'm gonna push down kind of hard and I'll probably hold it down for maybe like 10 seconds and then I'm just gonna quickly wipe that extra glue that was on top. I'm just gonna wipe that off really quick. I just did it really quickly so it wouldn't leave you know like any fuzz on the nail and um, yeah now it's nice and secure. So I'm just gonna continue on applying the nails to my nails. The thumbs are usually the only nails that I have to file down. So the rest of them, I'm just gonna go ahead and just glue them on without having to file them or anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply them all. Once I'm done gluing them all on, I'm gonna have to file the ends a little bit because there's like a little tab at the end of each of the nails, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna take my file and just file that down lightly. I'm not trying to shorten my nail, so I'm not gonna file them too hard and too long. I just wanna kind of get that, that little tab off of there so it can be smooth on the ends. Okay guys, so this is the final look. They look so good, you guys. I really love these nails. So if you haven't used press-ons or if you think they're like not cute or whatever, I would say try them out. Like they're not expensive and they look really good. There's so many different types of styles and designs. So if y'all were interested in trying, like getting your nails done but you didn't want to spend too much, you don't want to spend like 60, 70 dollars on your nails, try it out. They're like five, five to 10 bucks, that's it. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.